by the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back with another edition of Quick Hits. Uh, we've got a good show for you today. Uh, we're going to break down these silly rumors. Keith Thurman, Tank Davis, I don't know how much validity there is to it, um, but it, it won't go away, so we're going to address it. Uh, before we do that, please like and subscribe. I hit the bell icon, do all that good stuff. Um, quick Hits, twice a day, every day. Uh, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the greatest and latest boxing news and rumors. Um, so let's get started. Let's get let's get uh, into the show. Um, oh, also the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene has. Uh, please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Going to upload some new content. Just did a, a great interview with the Alex uh, with the Rincon brothers, Alex and George Rincon. Uh, please check that out. That'll be up. That'll be uh, uploaded. I think on Monday probably. Uh, please like, subscribe, share that channel as well. Like I said, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, but let's get into today's show. Keith Thurman versus Tank Davis. Um. At first, I thought this was a joke. Um, Keith Thurman is a 147 pounder who I talked to uh, about a year and a half ago. Um, said he was walking around around 190. I, I, again, that's not a big deal because t- uh, Tank walks around really big too. Um, at a certain point, it's just too much weight, right? I, I, I can't see this fight happening. Leonard LB said um, that Tank's not going to fight at 140 anymore. To me, that sounds like he's going to go back down to 30 or 35. It can't possibly mean he's going to 47, could it? I, mean, I, I, I don't think so. But what, I mean, what does that what does that sound like? I, this rumor won't go away. Like, do you guys think this is possible? They obviously have special plans for Tank Davis. They don't have a whole lot from the fight thirty or thirty-five. At first, I thought this was a joke. Now I'm not so sure. Michael Rivera, Michelle Rivera, Chris Colbert. I don't think they want to make the Colbert fight yet. I mean, they don't have a lot at thirty and thirty-five. Um, they don't have a lot of 40. Robert Easter, uh, Bartholomew, I mean, they have some names there, but nothing of any huge intrigue. They don't really start to make their dent until you get to 47. I, I'm thinking this is, this is not real. I, I'm really thinking Keith Thurman versus Javante Tank Davis isn't real. But maybe it is. Like, maybe there's some smoke where that fire is. Um, now, I want to get to Thurman a little bit. Um, I've not seen a guy waste his career the way Keith Thurman has. It's really pretty unique. 2015, he fought twice. He beat Guerrero. And Colazzo, he was WBA champ. Uh, he looked to be coming in his own. 2016, he fought once on Porter. Got the win. Okay. 2017, he fought once. Danny Garcia got the win. Now he's a unified champ. Now he's making his way on the people's pound for pound list. Top 10 pound for pound. Didn't fight at all in 2018. So for in March of 2017, didn't fight again until January of 2019. Um, B. Jose Lopez by majority decision. Came back six months later, fought Manny Pacquiao. Lost a great fight to Pacquiao. Didn't fight all of 2020. We're, ha- we're more than halfway through 2021 now. He still hasn't fought. I mean, this is incredible. So that's... uh. 
going back to the Colazzo fight, which was July of 2015, that's six years ago, he's fought four times. He's fought four times in six years. In his prime six years of his career, he's fought four times. Three and one. Lost to Pacquiao. Wins over Josito, Danny, and Sean Porter. I've never seen this before. Six years of his career. He didn't go to jail. He didn't get suspended. He just didn't fight anybody. Um, Look, that being said, I still think he beats Javante Davis. He's too quick. He's too strong. He's too powerful. He's not going to get caught up and tangled up with um, Javante Tank Davis. On the inside, right? Like if he if he does, he can beat him up on the inside because he's a big hitter himself. But he's got the legs that uh, Barrios doesn't have. He's super quick. He's super athletic. Real mobile on his feet. He'll just pepper uh, pepper him from the outside. And if Tank wants to come inside, he's gonna get he's gonna get hit with big shots. But um, Barrios is actually taller and longer. I know he's a small weight class, but he's he, he's quite a bit taller than Keith. Um, and, and he's longer than Keith, so it's a different fight, right? It's not, it's not similar, right? He, he's he's a more of a mover, um, and, and he's not nearly as, as tall, long as as Barrios. Um, but this Keith Thurman fight, like, it, it's an intriguing fight, and it, I, I don't think it's gonna happen, but maybe. I don't know how crazy they are, um, but it's it's a fun fight. I I, I can't pick against Keith Thurman right now, right? Like. I know he's fought four times in six years. We just went over it. He hasn't fought in a year and a half again, right? He took a year and a half off, fought twice in 2019, now taking another year and a half off. It's going to be two full years out of the ring, and likely by the time he gets back in the ring. I don't know what they're doing over there with him. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I, right now, this is a bridge too far. I said it was a bridge too far against Barrios. I was wrong, uh, but this is this is another level. This is Walter Waite. One of the best welterweights of his era, you know, um, that's too much for Tank. You know, this guy can hit. This guy can crack. Um, he's He's got athleticism. Tank can't beat him up on the inside. He can't bully him. You know what I'm saying? He, he, and I don't think he can cut the ring off on him. You know, Keith Irwin's just going to move around the ring and pepper him with shots. He's a better athlete than Barrios. He's a bigger hitter than Barrios. You know, that Barros is a bad athlete. Barros is 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 is, is other things. No, he's Barros is good power, and he's a credible athlete. But Keith Thurman's better in both those departments. What Barros is, is is taller and longer. He got a better jab. Um, I don't know that. I, I I've always said Thurman doesn't use his jab enough. Um, I don't know that he has to in this fight because he's just going to use his legs, right hands, left hooks, combination punching. I think he beats Tank up. This weight class is for a reason. I think we've reached that at this level with Javante Tank Davis. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Do you guys think this is real? Uh, do, you, do you think – because when I first heard it, I thought it was crazy. I thought it was a joke. and It won't go away. So I don't know. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Uh, share on all forms of social media. Uh, remember to subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Again, we'll be uploading that uh, interview with the Rincon Brothers uh, tomorrow, uh, Monday, I think. Um, please, um, and, and remember that channel, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. So please uh, help us uh, get that monetized and, and, and up and running as quickly as possible. Uh, from Texas, oh, it is August 2nd, uh, 2021. First of all, uh, RIP. Rest in peace to Dipset. That's done with. Um, their careers are over. Um, from Texas, uh, it, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame, remember. Uh, we need to get Ivan Calderon in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.